Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. Welcome back to my channel, my loverlies. If you've never been here before, thank you so much for clicking on my video. I am so happy you found me. I do so hope that you will like and subscribe before you leave. Become part of the mom family. Mama's got your back, at least for makeup's concerned and definitely when that makeup is cheap. Y'all, today we're doing a fun one. We're doing a ranking video. And I don't do these very, very often. And that's just because I don't usually have a ton of products, like palettes, uh, from one brand. I pretty much just have stuff from everywhere. Uh, but I did recently place a Juvia's Place order and got six more palettes. And now that I've become a little bit more well acquainted with them and uh, more secure in where they rank, in my collection. I am very, very ready to rank all of my Juvia's Place palettes with you guys today. Um, everything that I talk about in today's video will of course be listed in the description box below, along with all of the other tags for my other social medias. So if you guys aren't following me on all the platforms, please make sure that you're doing that. Y'all support means more to me. I know everybody says this, but really, really y'all just th the fact that you even click on my video in the first place is like, psh, kind of amazing so any support that you're willing to give me is just oh, thank you thank you so much before I get into these palettes we're gonna address my nails because they look crusty they look really really bad and that is because uh, I'm just waiting for the rest of them to ping off so I can put on a new set I'm thinking about just painting my real nails this time we'll see what happens I usually <sighs> I miss my big long fingernails when I don't have fake nails on, but then I just get so tired of having to glue them on. Da -da -da. We'll see what happens. But the Juvia's Place palettes that I'm going to talk about today, uh, I purchased every single one of these on sale. I didn't pay full price for not a single one of them. Juvia's Place usually has some really, really fantastic sales. Uh, most of these palettes I got for at least fit around... 40 to 50 percent off. Uh, I don't think I, I, I know for a fact I didn't pay more than ten dollars for any of these palettes. I think that the Juvia's Place formula is really fantastic. Super super pigmented. Really really easy to use. I love the packaging. I love pretty much everything about Juvia's Place and though there are some that rank higher than others, I love all of these palettes. I really really enjoy each and every one of them. That is why I own them. Uh, if I didn't enjoy it, I would have either sent it back or given it away to some Somebody. So I really do enjoy each and every one of these palettes and I hope you enjoy this video. We're just going to hop right into it. Now if you guys have watched my uh, my latest videos, you will know that I have been so in love with this one. I just can't even explain my love for this palette. Uh, this is the Allori one. It is a, oh, it's an incredibly stunning palette. Now, it, this isn't the kind of color story that in my mind I would gravitate towards. It's not the kind of thing that I really just, that's my color story, you know? But when I opened this palette and when I started to play with it, I just, it just, it stole my heart a little bit. It's really, really beautiful. These bright turquoises in here are extremely beautiful. Uh, there is a duochrome in here that I think is just incredibly, incredibly beautiful. It has got the most beautiful uh, deep sapphire to teal turquoise flip to it that is just incredibly beautiful. I love it so, so much. It is my favorite, favorite Juvia's Place shade of all time. It is just so incredibly beautiful. So this is my number one very, very favorite palette. Number two is the Sweet Pinks. Now, I love this palette just because, it. first of all, I love the packaging. I love the color of the packaging. It just reminds me of bubblegum and Barbies and everything that's just super girly and beautiful. And I love it so, so much. You open it up. Look at these freaking colors, y'all. So the one that I kind of beeline for is, of course, this beautiful, beautiful shimmer right in the center. It is the most gorgeous bubblegum pink. Oh, but it's got that little bit of like blue undertone to it. It is a very, very blue undertone pink. It's just, it's hot. It's neon. It's got the most beautiful uh, metallic just uh, finish to it. It's absolutely stunning creamy and pigmented. This palette just makes me smile. I never, ever, ever have a bad makeup day using this palette. And it's just, oh, I love it so, so much. 
Uh, the next one is the berries. Now, this one is just so incredibly beautiful. I really love the packaging on this one as well. I love the kind of gradient of the dark purple to the lighter kind of fuchsia color. So, so pretty. You open it up, and here are the colors inside. Uh, this shimmer is really just, I mean, yeah. This shimmer is really, really incredible. This is a duochrome as well. It's got a uh, berry. It's got more of a Merlot to bronze shift to it. So you can see it's Merlot there. And then it shifts to a more like golden bronze kind of color. This is a duochrome as well. It's absolutely stunning. Really, really beautiful. I love these two colors as well. This is a really, really deep beautiful wine color and then this one is more of like an electric electric fuchsia the mattes in these palettes are just as beautiful as the shimmers they're they're just they're just stunning even those colors together would make a really beautiful look i think that would make for something super super interesting so this is number three super super beautiful i think that uh these two palettes probably could have tied for a second but i really kind of like the pinks uh, just a little bit more than the berries but i think this is such a beautiful palette it was so hard it was so hard trying to sit here and figure out what my favorite palettes were well besides the Olori one I knew that was my absolute favorite but it was so hard trying to see here and basically pick favorites when I am so incredibly in love with all of them it took y'all it took me at least 45 minutes trying to sit here and go through these palettes and really some hard decisions y'all hard decisions so next up we have a very very new palette to me this is the Juvia's Play Squad this is the Rebel Army and the reason that this ranks number four it's just because I am so in love with the greens in here. I think they're so beautiful. They're not primary greens. There's something a little bit darker, a little bit more moody to these shadows. I think the shimmers in here are just even better quality probably than uh, some of the six pan palettes just because they have even more of that really beautiful, almost unctuous quality to them. This is the most beautiful money green shimmer. The uh, mattes in here are just incredibly smooth. I just, I mean, definitely, definitely upped their quality with the smaller four pan quads because I even just feeling this matte compared to the matte that I just swatched in the berries. This one is so much smoother. It's got more of that like silky feel on the fingertip. It isn't, they're incredible. This is a really, really gorgeous, gorgeous eyeshadow palette. I like that it's a quad. I like that you get really, really generous uh, pan sizes. I just love, I love everything about this palette. I love the packaging. This is really fantastic. Uh, as soon as they have another sale, I will definitely be picking up the rest of the quads. I hope that they come out with more uh, colorways of this, uh, of this setup because I think they're so, so great. I hope they have the same quality as well. Just really, really fantastic. So number five is the festival. Now this is what I'm wearing on my face today. This is a stunning palette. This is really, really beautiful. This white here is absolutely just everything. It is the most beautiful pigmented white shimmer. It's got almost a silver flip to it. It's incredible. It's an incredible, incredible shade. I have this all over the front portion of my eyelid. I also have a little bit of this shade on as well. This orange is just absolutely everything. I love it so, so much. And then I also have this red on. And this red is so, so pretty as well. Really, really pigmented. Uh, you can definitely tell though, that there is a uh, difference in the formulas between the larger pans and the larger uh, pan palettes and the smaller pan palettes because even just touching uh, that red shimmer or the red matte there's definitely a difference uh, they're not quite as silky smooth they're not quite as finely milled they're still beautifully pigmented and super easy to work with but I do think that they changed their formula and definitely for the better. Uh, still a really great palette. I love the color story. There's a lot that you can do with this. I also have this color, this color, and this color on my eyes with a little touch of this. I think this color story is super unexpected, but surprisingly workable. Uh, it might seem just a little bit disjointed if you just look at it, but as soon as you really dive into it and really start exploring the colors and exploring what colors work with each other, I think you'll find that you can make some really fun, super interesting looks with this palette. And I think it's it's a total winner. I really, really enjoy this palette. So that was number one, two, three, 
four. So this was number five. Number six is the Alori two. Now I love this just because it's an incredible, incredible blue palette. This one has a duochrome in it as well. I believe it's this one that's the duochrome. Yeah. Yeah. It has a very dark look. Just look how pretty that is on the finger. It's so incredibly beautiful guys. Uh, so it's got a dark sapphire base with a, I want to say more of a teal aquamarine shift to it really beautiful super silky there's a nice amount of moisture to it as well uh, but I find that even though they're almost putty like in texture they still don't crease on my eyes I have very hooded wrinkly eyelids and I can use this formula and not have to worry about it bunching bunching up in my folds it doesn't age my eyelids either uh, the shimmer in here is done in such a way uh, that it's very flattering for uh, mature eyelids which I have I'm 30, but y'all, my face is wrinkly as the day is long. And a lot of times, like super chunky, uh, reflective eyeshadows will just enhance the wrinkles and the texture on my eyelids. And these don't do that. None of the Juvia's Place uh, shimmers have ever really just made my eyes look worse. And I'm so, so grateful for that. I think they look so, so pretty on. Easy to work with, easy to blend. I think this color story is absolutely in beautiful, uh, absolutely beautiful. Um, the only thing I am not super keen uh, about this palette is that it only has, excuse me, it only has one matte shadow in it. It is a beautiful matte shadow, but there's only one of them. Look how beautiful that is though. It's almost a, an electric royal blue. So, so stunning. Those two colors together are life. So pretty. Oh, I just can't. This is a beautiful, beautiful palette. Uh, it, I, I probably, I probably could have ranked this number five instead of number six, but the festival edged it out just a little bit, just because I feel like this one is a little bit more versatile than this one is, but this is a really, really beautiful palette. And if you're into blue, this is the palette for you. I love that there's some more silvery tones in here as well. It's just stunning. It's just a really, really, really pretty palette. So that was number six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Number seven is the uh, the Rebel Grays. Now, I got this palette uh, at the same time I got the other quad. Uh, the reason this one ranked just a little bit lower is because this is not one of those palettes that uh, I could use on its own. This is definitely what I would call a companion palette. And I'm going to wipe my fingers off real quick because I am getting smudges all over my eyeshadow palettes. But this is a companion palette. And the reason I say that is because though it's well curated and you've got a light tone and a deeper tone, uh, you could definitely make an eye look out of this and it would be very, very beautiful. Uh, but I'm not, I'm not, it's really about color story and about personal preference because the formula in here is absolutely fantastic. This just is not one, uh, a shadow palette that I could use to make a look. For myself. Uh, I would need a little bit more depth. I would need a little bit more color, just a little bit more something. Uh, this would work in a pinch, but the reason that this ranks as high as it does is because the shimmers in here are what I have been searching for for forever. These silver shimmers are just incredible. Now, I know that you can't see too big of a difference in the shades uh, on my fingertips, and I'm not even sure that they show up on the eyes super, super differently. But in swatches, you can definitely tell that this one is a, it's, it's a melted, melted silver metal, right? This one has a little bit of uh, more of a topiness to it. It's got a little bit of a, uh, it's got more of a tinny undertone to it, which I think is still super beautiful, but it's not that pure melted silver that this one is. This shade is everything. I have been looking for a shade like this for so, so long. And this is exactly what I've been looking for. It's creamy. It's metallic. It is super pigmented and absolutely gorgeous. I am so, so in love with this palette. And even though this would not do a whole eye look for me personally, I do think that if you liked a simpler eye look, this would make an absolutely incredible, incredible eye look ridiculously easily. So, so pretty so beautiful and completely worth the four dollars that i paid for it mm, just yummy so that was one two three four five six number seven number eight is the bronzed rustic now i love this palette 
very, very much. The reason it ranks as low as it is ranking is just because it's a little bit of a boring color story. This is like, if I'm going to do a neutral eye look, this is what I go for. I love an orange eye look. I love warm tones. I think they're just, they're yummy and everything warm and cozy about eyeshadow but they're boring and they're not quite as, you know, look at me exciting as I like to be sometimes. And though you can get a pretty, a very dramatic uh, eye look from this palette, it's just not the color story. It's just not my absolute favorite. The quality on these though is absolutely fantastic. This orange shade is so, so beautiful. It reminds me very much of the shade in the Festival palette, though this one leans a little bit more red than that one does, but look how beautifully it swatches. Incredibly pigmented, just oh, so, so gorgeous. And then you have these two shimmers in here. I think this one is super, super pretty. There also another reason that this ranked as low as it did is because I think that the shimmers in here are just a little bit chunky. They're, uh, they're not quite as smooth as some of the other shimmers are. And for that reason, I just ranked it a little bit lower. They, I don't think they're as quite as flattering on my eyelids as some of the other formulations are. But on a whole, this is a really, really beautiful eyeshadow palette. I think this color here, this really beautiful kind of camel caramel color is so, so pretty beautiful, beautiful palette. I like that there, I like the mix of mattes and shimmers in here as well. I like that it's matte heavy. It just makes it really easy to use. Very, very user friendly. I just wish that the actual shimmers in here were just a little bit smoother. Not quite as chunky, but they're still so, so pretty. Like I said, even though they're ranking a little bit lower, I still love them so, so much. Oh, so, so much. So this was number eight. Number nine is the Blushed Rose. Now, the Blushed Rose, I, I bought these two at the same time. So the uh, Bronzed Rustic and the Blushed Rose, I think they came out, they were, they were released in the same collection. And you would think that this would rank higher than the orange one because the orange one is so neutral. But there is something about this color story that I think is so feminine and soft and romantic. But it's just boring to me. It's so boring. It's so pretty. It is so pretty and makes an absolutely stunning, like dusty rose, just like super romantic kind of eye look, but it just doesn't inspire me the way that some of the other palettes do. But I think that this color, this color story makes such a beautiful look on the eye. Uh, it's why, even though it's one of my least inspiring palettes from Juvia's Place, it ranked as high as it did just because the look that you end up with with using this palette is so incredibly beautiful. It is just soft yet dramatic. It is feminine, but still exciting. It's just stunning. It's a really, really pretty palette. Uh, this shimmer right here and this one right here are so incredible. There's nothing really special about the shimmers. There's no flip. There's no uh, like duality to them. They're just kind of, they're just very, very pretty shimmers. Nothing really special going on here. Uh, the, t the rosy tones in here are super pretty, but again, nothing special. R nicely pigmented, creamy, easy to use, but just not awe-inspiring, you know? So that was number 10. Number 11 is the Violets by Juvia's Place. Now, I when I ordered this palette, I thought it was I thought I was just going to absolutely love this. It looked so bright and vivid uh online. And then I got it in my hands and I was like, "Oh. Uh it, it it's definitely a violet palette. Uh this shimmer and this matte are so pretty." They look so pretty uh in the swatches and they translate on the eye really, really well. But there's something about the th formula in this particular palette that I just, I don't know. It just didn't do it for me. I feel like the actual shimmers in here are not as reflective. They're not as shiny. This one is pretty, but I feel like they're not as, they're not as creamy. They're not as reflective. They're not as just like impactful. I just, there was something lost in translation, lost in translation 
for me with this palette. You get a nice amount of depth in here. You've got a really beautiful deep dark smoky violet matte that is so pretty. Uh, you've got a nice amount of shimmers. You've got two mattes and four shimmers. You've got a light matte and a dark matte, which is everything that I need for an eye look. You've got a nice selection of shimmers in here. It's just on the eye. It it doesn't it doesn't inspire me. It doesn't awe me. It doesn't though it's still beautiful. It's just eh. It's just eh. The formulation is not my favorite. I think the shimmers are a little bit dry and it they're just they're just not spectacular. I think the color story is really pretty. I just wish, wish the execution of it had been just a little bit better. And maybe I, I wish that they would have made this just a little bit brighter. Everything going on the eye, there's not too much differentiation. There's not too much like contrast in here. So everything just ends up looking kind of one note and just a little bit muddy. Not my favorite color story. I don't know. Eh, just not my favorite. Not my favorite. Uh, next up, we have the Zulu. Now, this one ranked as low as it does just because I don't think the color story is very adhesive. I like the color story in this palette better than I like the violets, and I think that they perform better. Uh, but I just, this one ranked lower than the violets because I just don't think it's super, super cohesive. Uh, it is pretty much a rainbow palette, and that's great. But again, this is one of those palettes that I definitely would have to use with something else. Uh, this is what I would call a companion palette. Now, you could definitely make an eye look out of these shades in here, and it would be really beautiful and bright and bold. But when I do color, I really like to do... Uh, like two, either two-toned or uh, like a monochromatic look, something like that. And though you could pair this yellow with either of these blues, or you could do the red and purple, I just feel like there's something missing with this color story. I just feel like it needs something else to make one complete thought and that's why it ranked as low as it did. I think that the shimmer right here is absolutely stunning. Quality is 100% uh, even better than the quality of the Violets palette. I think this color is so beautiful. It's like a duochromatic shade as well. It's got this really beautiful dusty rose to almost copper flip to it. It's beautiful, beautiful shade. Probably my favorite shade out of the entire palette besides this really beautiful, bright, bold uh, key lime shimmer, which is just absolutely incredible. I love it so much. I just don't think that this palette is a complete thought and that's why it ranked as low as it did. Uh, yeah, it's really pretty, just not my absolute favorite. Moving on, so that was, what number are we on? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So number 12 is the Topes. Now, I bought this off of record, uh, off a recommendation from Mandy Lee, and she said this was a stunning, stunning cool tone palette. And you guys know I am a warm toned girl. I love fiery tones. And I don't have, and because of that, I don't have very many cool tone palettes in my collection. And I wanted, you know, I wanted to test out the waters, see what it was like. This is a beautiful palette if you are super, super fair. I just don't feel like there's a lot of contrast or depth in this palette. I feel like when you, once it looks different in the palette, but once you put everything on the eyes, it looks, it, it all looks like the same color. And I find that I just can't get enough contrast. I can't get enough, I just, I just don't think it's exciting. Though it's super, super beautiful and very, very easy to wear, this is one of my absolute favorite, favorite winter palettes. I actually really enjoy wearing cooler tones in the winter. I think it's super pretty, especially when you're wearing like darker, deeper uh, colors in the winter. I wear a lot of wine and forest green. I feel like these tones go really beautiful with like darker, you know, darker tones like that. But even those three colors swatched on my fingers, they all look like exactly the same shade and I'm just not a big fan of it uh I think that I think that they could have definitely done something a little bit deeper or given us like a super light matte or a super light shimmer I think everything is just very very mid-tone and it's just yeah it's just not exciting to me it's a beautiful beautiful palette and does make a beautiful eye look but every look you make with this palette all everything looks the same because all of the colors look the same all of the shimmers look the same all of these look pretty much the same on the eye with the exception of this one which gives you just a little bit of depth but even as dark as that looks on my finger 
it doesn't translate like translate like that on the eye it's a really beautiful taupey gray matte and it's a very very smoky and beautiful but there's still just not enough depth and not enough contrast in this palette to make it truly interesting and that's why it's second to last on my list so that was number 12. Number 13 is this one. This is the Masquerade Mini by Juvia's Place. Now, the reason this has ranked the lowest in my ranking is because I've had this palette the longest. This was the first, the very first Juvia's Place palette I ever, ever ordered. And though the, the color story is beautiful and there's lots of different kind of options in here, I just, I don't find it inspiring. I don't find the color story to be something that I gravitate to. It just isn't, it just doesn't do it for me. And this is all about personal preference because the formulation of the shadows in here is stunning. I mean, brain fart. Standard Juvia's Place uh, formulation. Standard Juvia's Place uh it's great. Just the color story doesn't do it for me. I mean, I, I think the shades in here are beautiful. This kind of, this matte pink, but it's got little reflex of glitter in there. It's beautiful. You've got this absolutely stunning kind of aquamarine shimmer. That's just gorgy. Just look at that. It's almost like duochromatic. Not quite, but almost. Really beautiful reflect, super, super intensely pigmented color. They're beautiful, but there's just something about this palette that I just can't quite dig into. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. It's half neutral, half colorful. You've got a million and one different options in here. By all means, I mean, you know, by all intents and purposes, this is like the perfect palette, but I, there's just something about it that I just, I don't know. I don't know. I just don't find it to be particularly inspiring. I think that the warm, yummy tones down here are beautiful. Some of the shimmers in here are just, they're insane. I want to swatch this one color for you. I think it's more of a matte, but it's got really beautiful teeny tiny uh, glitter particles in it. What is that called? It's called Cairo. So this one right here, I think is one of the most beautiful, neutral, shadows I've ever seen in my life. I think it's just, I love it. Look how beautifully, oh, it's a great, great palette. It's, there's just something about the color story that I just can't seem to like get into. I don't know. It's all about personal preference, guys. Please don't think if any of these palettes are your favorites, <coughs> Please don't think that I'm dissing you. Like I said before I started, I love each and every one of these palettes. It's the reason they're in my collection. There's just something about this palette that I've never really sat down and done a full eye look with this. And I've tried to a million times. And I look at this palette and it just doesn't inspire me. And that makes me sad because it's a beautiful color story. But when the muse doesn't strike, the muse doesn't strike. And this one just doesn't do it for me. And the reason it's at the bottom is because I have tried to use it so many times. And each time I sit down to, to look at this color story and really try to play with it, just nothing happens. That spark doesn't ignite. The creative juices don't flow. And it makes me so sad. If you guys have done any looks with this palette, or if you own this palette and it's in your collection, uh, let me know. Do you love this palette? Does it inspire you? Or do you have the same problem I do? And it just kind of like, kind of goes over your head a little bit. I don't know. I think it's really sad because I heard so many great things about this palette and it's beautiful. Uh, it's a well thought out color story. It just doesn't inspire me the way that I wish that it did. Guys, those are all of my Juvia's Place palettes, except for one, and this one didn't make it into the ranking because it's not an eyeshadow palette, but I had to talk about this. This is the uh, the Saharan Blush Volume 1. This is a blush palette. It's got six different blushes in here, and I actually purchased this just kind of on a whim. I think it was on sale for, for $3.00. And I, I just, I was like, yes, I have to have that. I saw this orange blush and I was like, wow. I actually have this blush on my face today. It is the most beautiful pigmented, just insanely pigmented orange blush. 
it goes on beautifully it blends beautifully uh, it just gives a really kind of peachy flush to the cheeks without looking too orangey doesn't make you look sallow or green it's just really beautiful I love the color also you have this really beautiful pink uh, berry shades called Zane you want to talk about the most incredible pink like fuchsia berry blush oh my goodness gracious these are so pigmented that i have actually used this palette as eyeshadow before and it was incredible i made a really really beautiful eye look out of it uh so you have three matte four matte blushes and two shimmers i think they could be like blush toppers if you were like really deep skinned or uh, highlighters if you were really like had really deep skin. I cannot use it like that because I'm pasty as a sheet but I think that they're so so beautiful anyway. I do end up using these as eyeshadows sometimes because they're just so incredibly beautiful so incredibly pigmented and the reflect on them is so so pretty. I just I think oh, they're just they're just everything so this one is the shade just look at that beautiful bronze golden shift to it oh so so pretty I think this is 100% 100% worth the money uh, these go on sale pretty often uh, and I think the Juvia's Place brush blush formula is incredible they're creamy they blend easily highly highly pigmented I, but they're not pigmented in a way that uh, I have to, I'm scared to use them. Like even some of the, like the CoverGirl high pigment blushes, though they're absolutely beautiful, I worry because, you know, they, they can get kind of blotchy. They can stick a little bit. I have never had any problems with these patching on me. They've never stuck I, uh, they've never like stuck to patches on my face. They don't enhance any of my texture. They don't look powdery. They're just so so beautiful if you haven't tried the juvia's place blushes definitely definitely check them out i think they're totally worth checking out and so so very beautiful and with that that ends my juvia's place ranking video let me know in the comments below do you agree with my ranking uh do you have any of these palettes in your collection and if you do what is your favorite what is your very very favorite juvia's place palette I would so love to know. Also, let me know, is there anything missing from my collection? Is there anything at Juvia's Place that I'm missing out on? Because, like, the FOMO is real. So if there's something I need, let me know in the comments below, and I'll definitely try to pick it up. Guys, as always, no filters, no edits, no fancy lighting. It's just me sitting in front of my camera, playing with my makeup, hoping you guys are enjoying what I'm doing. Uh, like I said earlier, everything I talked about in today's video will be in the description box below, along with all the other tags to my other social medias. Make sure you like, give a big old thumbs up to this video before you leave. And until next time, stay safe, take care of yourselves, and remember, you're important. Bye.